All right, I'm back this time for your vitamin today, and you'll notice we are back in the library here. Um, so we're doing some stuff in the gym. We're going to be back in the gym after this, but I want to take a little step back because I've been talking about all the different equipment in the gym. I've been talking about all the aspects of going to a gym, uh, all the different classes, you know, all the different cardio pieces, the resistance training stuff, dumbbells, all of that. So if you haven't watched it, go back, watch the other videos. Take a look at those. This way you know what you're in for whenever you go work out at a gym or even at home. Because um, there's quite a few tips about what to do at home with bands, things like that. Uh, but now, let's talk about some gear. Because I mean, if you're going to work out, you need to work out in the proper gear. Um, so I want to make sure that you have the right stuff on you for that. Uh, with that, let's start off with some shoes. Because we have to start at the base. We have to start, start at the bottom level. you got to make sure that you're supported properly. And uh, if you're going to work out in something like this, yeah, this would be sandals. Um, Arnie and all the big boys back in the day used to work out in these. Not really the best way to go about it unless you're just doing nothing but chest, which you need to do more than just chest. So with that, toss that. Uh, running shoes. Nice, good, functional running shoe. Uh, some people are going to need a lot more, uh, uh, a lot more stability and support than what I get out of these. Because uh, I really don't run a whole lot, I do much more sprinting, but find a really, really, really good pair of running shoes. Make sure to get fitted for those shoes. Uh, so go to some place like Luke's Locker, Run On, something like that. Find the right pair of shoes for your feet. Don't worry about what's on the side of them, okay? Uh, some people work, some people Nike works, some people Reebok works, some people Adidas works. Go with whatever works for your foot and your stride pattern and figure out what your stride pattern should be because there's a lot of different stride patterns. We'll talk about those later because there's a lot of discussion on that. You got the cool little functional trainers that, you know, bend all over the place. Uh, that's the hot new thing out there. These things have very little to no support in them. So if you don't have very strong feet, you're going to wind up in a world of pain after being in these for a very long time. So make sure that if you get one of these, some of these functional trainer shoes, like from New Balance, um, things like that, um, you know, the Vibrams, the little toesies. I love the toesies. Um, you know, if you're going to wear those, start off very, very slow. Go very light in them. Use them for like an hour a day. Get used to walking around barefoot because it's different. It's very, very different. Um, even different than having something like this that's bending flexible all over the place, but you still have a little bit of support. Then you have the nice, big, thick cross trainers. If you're going to go in there and you're going to push some big weight and do some big boy stuff, you're going to need some cross trainers. You will. Start, seriously, you need some support underneath your feet, especially for all these big 200-plus pound guys out there, 300-plus, 400-plus plus pound guys. You need some support for those feet. They are your base. Take care of them. And then start working towards these fun things. The one thing that you do not ever want to wear in a gym, ever, this would be called a business shoe. Dress shoe. Nice, pretty, fun. Not very functional. I've seen people try to work out in these. Cracks me up. I don't know why they try this. Um, so with that, get the right shoes for the job. Figure out what you're going to do. If you're going to do spin, if you're going to run, if you're going to jog, if you're going to sprint, if you're going to do weight stuff, if you're going to do yoga. Pilates, whatever, whatever your thing is, get the right shoes for the job. Shoes are huge, 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 huge. Make sure you get the right equipment, uh, get the right gear, get geared up properly. Um, we'll be back to talk about some more gear in a second. 